God always wants to bless his people. The only way you can know that God answers prayer is for you to get a hold of that Bible that has put in you so that you pray. And when you pray, you attract the heavenlies, the blessings from God. Was and continues for all eternity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's nature is that He is, was, and continues for all eternity. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's the beginning and the end. He knows all things. He did it to the children of Israel. He will do it for you and for your people. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. Say hallelujah. hallelujah. So let's look at Nehemiah. We want to get something. Why, why, why you tomorrow? I may not finish, but I want to give you something because we are going to pray. You are going to pray for your people. Yeah. Are you beginning to ascend? I begin to study the problem. In verse number four, Nehemiah says. So uh, it was when I had these words that I sat down and wept and mourned for many days. I was fasting and praying before God of heaven. <laughs> Now let's look at what Nehemiah had. We Go back to verse number two of the same Nehemiah. Look at verse number two. That Hananiah, one of my brethren, came uh, with men from Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews who had escaped. Jews were his people. And he says, who has survived the captivity concerning Jerusalem? Jerusalem. Why Jerusalem? That's his home. The city of God. Where Jerusalem? Is where your placenta was buried. Where you have your ancestral connection. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. And then verse 3 says, listen, and they said to me, the survivors who are left from the captivity in the province are there in great distress and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem is bro also broken down and its gates are burned with fire. Mm -hmm. He had it. No, he do it. The walls are broken. No, he got us in the gates are broken. Wall is a symbol or a type of security. The gate represents what comes in. And what goes out. There is no security in Jerusalem. Anything can come in and go out. Okay. 
that's dangerous. Mano, Good security. You are open for any attack. You need God. When you're mad, Baba, he said, I sat down and wept. Why is Nehemiah weeping? He's the king's cupbearer. Comfortable. Eating good. With all security around. <laughs> Joe and Joe. Oh, God, I'll leave you my bed. I said, I should have scared you. You will come over in your bed. You will be like a job. But when we are to kiss Kevin, you need to know how. 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 You need to the wall is all around. Security is there. The gates are found. But when he heard what is happening with his people, he says, I wept. Do you have a food right here? Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 Okay, we tell Hallelujah. <laughs> Every time you point to yourself, that's selfishness. And what is the force behind selfishness? It's pride. And the Bible says, pride comes before fall. That is what is killing our people. So when you pray for your people, pray against the spirit of pride. You get it? Always remember your people, it doesn't matter where you are. Because your people will always be your people. It is there. Mm -hmm. I'll always be a lawyer. You'll always be a lawyer. You'll be a lawyer. You'll be a whatever try. That is given. And God knows it well. But when I use it in a wrong way, then God says that's not right. 
When I come to plant, I got resources. Which will enrich myself. And you don't benefit. That is still. Amen. 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 That is where Let me show you something. Give me Acts 17, verse 26. I want to give you something good. Acts 17, verse 26 and 27. Put 26 up there, quick. Listen. That's why you are where you are by God's desire. And God's choice. He says, Acts 17, verse 26. Amen. Amen. He says, and he has made from one blood who God every nation of men, nation means tribes, ethnicity, family. Amen. People speaking the same language. Every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth and has determined their pre, pre appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One man, Adam, created all. And he, he predetermined our boundaries. Verse 27. He says, so that they should seek the Lord in hope that they might grow for him and find him though he is not far from each one of us. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jo mayo chwe o kadogi. Jo umi jo wa. O bedi chwe mati manadi. Kero ajo deka wa 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 nati manadi. Wa na yu de. Ni kicho kubo. We samwa amane jo ani. Wa yu de na sa e manadi e. Say man to that. Say me I find. The true God. The true God. Okay. But as you say, so I want you to understand that you must see what God is doing in for your people and in your people. So Nehemiah mourned. He, he wept. No, you are. For many days. Fasting and praying before the God of heaven. What did Nehemiah do? He asserted the problem. No, He asked questions. No, Pedro, Pedro. He prepared himself to pray. We need to ask questions. As a people, we need to ask questions. God, where did we go wrong? Where did we miss the mark? Why are things not working well for us? That's why we need prayers. That is why we need God. Verse number five, he says this. Go ahead. He says, And I say that pray, Lord God of heaven, O great and awesome God, you who keep your covenant and must with those who love you and observe. Matindo Abinch, watch your camera. 
Bani ni ali mo kama. Kiho manya sae manya sanch polo. Inya sae maduo kenu malichi ni uwaro. Bani to singro mare marhera ge jogo wahere kenu rito chike ne. Ni maya say God your sovereign in every minute. Owa jo ni sae inya sae maduo. You are sovereign at all times. Ine lodge there is nothing that happens and takes you by surprise. You know all things. He knows all things. And even today, you will be here. And he knew that you would be in the year 2020. He knows what he's going to do for you and for your people. To know that there is a God in heaven. He recognized the fact that God is present in every place, not only in Jerusalem, but even where he was in captivity. God was still there. So wherever you are, you pray for your people. Don't say I'm not there. Your people are your people. Pray to God and God will hear them. Yes, and God will hear your prayers. Amen. He's with you. When you kneel on that mountain, He's with you. When you kneel in your bed, bedroom praying, He's with you. In your place of work, you are praying for your people, He's with you. As you are traveling, praying, He's with you. In the middle of the night, He's with you. God is with you. He is with you wherever you are. Pray for your people. You may be in a land flowing with milk and honey. But don't forget your people. You may be in a foreign land, but pray for your people. Married somewhere else, you are enjoying the world, but pray for your people. God is there with you. Amen. You say, God hears prayers. Verse number six. Fast forward quickly. Verse number six. He says, Please. Let your ear be attentive and your eyes open that you may hear the prayer of your servant. Day and the intensification of prayer. Day and night. Day and night. Now, they represent good things. Where things are good. Night is the darkest hour. So, whether good or bad. God will hear your prayers. Whether good or bad, pray for your people. Opa Kisuru. That is the intensification of prayer. Don't be comfortable. There is no day that you'll ever do without God. When things are good, pray for your people. When things are bad, pray for your people. Daytime and night. When God wakes you up, pray for your people. Now we need pray, we need to pray for our young people. 
We are losing a generation before our very eyes. <laughs> we need to pray for them. The Bible says there is nothing near the face of the earth. And these young people are facing, uh, chasing after wealth. They want to do anything and everything. So that, so that they drive a V8. Amen. But the Bible says God blesses the work of their hands. So parents, when you see your child, he's in school, he has a phone that is worth a hundred thousand. Don't be proud, ask him, Moha, how did you get this handy? That's why we need to pray. For God to open our eyes. We worship politics more than God. The siyasa of the earth are more. Kana kaya kaki wijo tija siyasa biro. Alisa kipipo umakata kumi peti ope. Wakisikia wana siyasa anakuja. Ike chikia libro yule kinawo. Mana wajua wanapata kitu. Let us worship God. That should burden you. Who do we put first? Human beings of God. We must put God first. Why are you going to put God first? Why are you going to put God first? When you search Abraham, you find the reason why. 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 We are dealt correctly. He is asking God to forgive Israel. Some chunge ni nyasai klamu yo. Nyasai provinci. Nyasai wengi. Mani mo ni kubilani. Amina. Kwa kero misemi ni mana imaluti yemo. Thanksgiving Day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 Amen. Pray for your people. Amen. Amen.